John! Do you know me from anywhere? John Abba! What business do you have with him? Leave! And you, what business do you have with him? Why are you following him up and down? Are you talking to someone, sir? I'm standing here. There is a demon beside you. And this demon is assigned to follow you and to frustrate your destiny. A demon? Yes. Look at it beside you. Oh, I think you are not seeing spiritually. Uh -huh. So you said um, 2.5 horsepower AC will be okay for that hotel? Yes, sir. Um, 2.5 horsepower AC sir, will be the best considering the temperature around this place, sir. Okay. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, no problem. Um, I think we'll be starting with 30 pieces of AC. Okay, sir. Please, I'll be giving you a check of 10 million. Okay, so sir. So you can commence the job as soon as possible. Okay, sir. Um, let me have your name, please. John Aban, sir. John. <laughs> you! Look at you! You think he will give you the contract? <laughs> Never! Why so they change? Ah! Where can we go? Gone? Me? I am not carrying a gun, sir. Look at gun in your hand. So I am not carrying a gun, sir. So I have been transacting with a criminal. <laughs> so I can't do <laughs> this with you. Sir, I am not. Sir, this is not. This is not. Hello, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so I am not with a gun, sir. <laughs> sir. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> ah, again? Oh, what again? Why is this happening to me? What is wrong with me? What exactly is wrong with me? Anytime Kuti wants to call me to don't slip off my hand. What kind of rubbish is this one now? Now see the culture that would have entered my hand. See? I just missed it, lost it like that. Spirit of the living car. John! Do you know me from anywhere? John Abba. What? business do you have with him? Leave! And you, what business do you have with him? Why are you following him up and down? Are you talking to someone, sir? I'm standing here. There is a demon beside you. And this demon is assigned to follow you and to frustrate your destiny. A demon? Yes. Look at it beside you. Oh, I think you are not seeing spiritually. But I can see a demon standing beside you. And this demon is assigned for your destiny. What has he done? You want to know what he has done? Yes, I'm interested. While he was in the university, he joined a court group. And he swore an oath to the deity of that court group. And he sealed it with his blood. I was one of the spirits who bore witness that night. So, I have legal rights over him. <laughs> This demon is a legal demon. He has authority over your destiny. My destiny? Yes. And I'm handicapped this time because I don't know how to assist you. The demon is saying that while you were in the university, you joined a cult. Is that true? Yes, sir. And you took an oath to the deity that rules that cult. With yes, your sir. blood. Yes, sir. With your blood. Yes, sir. The oath to be loyal and submissive to the deity of that cult. Yes, sir. Ah, that is the root of your problem. Hmm? Then, what is the business between the oath and success coming to his life? Eh? Why are you trying to stop every good thing that comes his way? He became inactive to the cult, thereby making the deity of that cult group annoyed. So, I have been assigned to make sure nothing, nothing good comes out of him. <laughs> well, this demon is acting based on a legal authority. The demon is saying that you stopped being active with the court and that is why he is after you. Please, I need to help. There's nothing I know I can do now because this demon is acting based on a legal right over your life but it is only you that has the power to liberate yourself from this bondage no it belongs to me let me warn you you are not his creator and you are not the determinant factor to his destiny 
Oh. He still has a right and a chance. But by the oath, sealed with his blood, I have every legal right over him. And he also has every right to make decisions on the deity to serve. There are two deities. The deity of darkness and the deity of light. If he can choose to follow the deity of light, he will be free from the bondage. Are you ready to follow the deity of light? Yes, I'm talking of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. You are the only one that can be able to liberate yourself from this bondage. If you are ready to accept Jesus and confess with your mouth that Jesus is your Lord and Savior, you'll be liberated. I'm ready, sir. You are ready? Yes, sir. Never! He belongs to me! Never! He is not yours. He was created by God and God has a destiny for his life. Are you ready to confess that I'm Jesus ready, is sir. Lord? Yes, sir. Now say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. No! No! I will never let him go. It belongs to me. <laughs> now listen to me. In the name of Jesus, I command you. Lose your deep hands. Come. Say after me with your heart, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I give no. my life to you today. No. Forgive me all my sins. No. No. Forgive no. my past. No. No. I repent from now. No. No. I denounce the deity I used to belong to. I denounce the deity I used to belong to. I am following you from henceforth. I give my love to you totally. I give my love to you totally. In the name of Jesus. Now hold my hand. Let me pray. No, no. Father, the Bible says, if the Son of Man sets any man free, no, he is free indeed. He is free right now. You are free right now. In the name of Jesus. Now listen to me. He is free, and there is nothing you can do about it. He has made a confession with his mouth. And he has denounced the deity that has been over him. The Bible says, if the Son of Man sets any man free, he is free indeed. Therefore, he is free. Now, I command you to live right now in Jesus' name. Now, go. I will leave. <laughs> but bear in mind, I will be back. I will keep watching over him. And once I get the slightest chance, I will come into his life. And I will come then times stronger <laughs> you'll be disappointed because he's going to live for jesus and jesus alone yes sir. you will not come back now listen to me yes sir. do not give any room for the devil to come back yes, because sir. if you do the torment is going to be worse than before hold jesus so tight yes sir. are you hearing me yes sir. don't give room for the enemy again yes, sir. because <laughs> the kind of torture they will torture you this time around it will be very very severe if you can be able to hold jesus yes, they will do you nothing yes sir. you are not liberated okay thank you, you sir. are liberated and you are free from thank every you, bondage thank you sir you're blessed thank you sir go thank you sir